political economist, management expert, politician and activist Professor Pat Utomi has said that Nigerians would rather have a referendum than an election. The technocrat who was a presidential aspirant in 2011 said, if those that want power lead, we would not be in this recursive mode of one step forward, three steps backward. He challenged all to speak up on future of how we live together, as we cannot continue to play the ostrich. Oxford Advanced Learners Dictionary defines a referendum as an occasion when all the people of a country can vote on an important issue. Professor Tommy expressed this sentiment in a statement on Saturday, reacting to the lynching of Deborah Samwe, a student of Shewishagari College of Education, Sukutu, on Thursday by her Muslim colleagues over alleged blasphemy. The authorities detained some suspects leading to protests following which the state declared a 24-hour curfew yesterday. For Utomi, the incidents in Sokoto in the last two days have opened a deep wound into the soul of our country. The only thing that can heal this deep gash now is leadership and truth. Like the saw in the saying by the founder of the Caliphate, Uthman Danfodio, only truth can heal this one. Our country is truly at a crossroads and no one who fails, who fails to take a stand can be considered worthy of the trust of the people. As a Nigerian who has grown up pan-Nigeria in the northwest, north central, northeast, southwest and south south, and for decades pursued a career in crafting accommodation of one another, I recognize clearly that if those who seek power truly lead, we would not be in this recursive mode of one step forward, three steps backward, or must now speak up on the future of how we live together. We cannot continue to play the ostrich. I fully understand the widespread sentiment of many. I run into that crunch time in the question of whether to break up or live together in dignity has arrived and that a referendum is more important now than election. I am pained by arriving at this point but cannot ignore the passionate sentiments. Mm-hmm. Well, Southern Nigeria prefers referendum to elections. Correct, but too many sellouts of a place of porridge, alias follow follow. Mm-hmm, that's the problem we have. Which referendum are you talking about? Is it contained in the Constitution of Nigeria? When Abuki comments, of course, you always know. There's no doubt about that. Leadership in this so called Nigeria are so doubt that they don't even like. The truth, but we are equally unserious because we are after short term agenda. The professor said it all for us to see ourselves, but we will never see. You have spoken, but our politicians from the south will not reason with you. They are satisfied with the crumbs from the table of northerners to be de- to the detriment of their people. Hmm. Yeah. No more. Referendum, no more restructuring, no more Aburi Accord, visitation, and no more regionalism. Our tribes break up of Nigeria completely and totally without a stone left on, upon one another. I support that. Are you not the guys that uh, brought this regime? I'm afraid of your analysis. Mobilize people, especially Southerners, who are at the receiving end for total election boycotts. I prefer referendum for Odudua Nation than. 2023 election in a battered Nigeria. You have said it's all, Professor. But remember some some that clamoring for it before are in prison now for saying the truth alone. Why they not like the ways they are being ruled by their leaders are all the problem the region is facing. Boko Haram bandits, poverty, hopelessness. Referendum will change all this once we all decided on how to form better system of governance and how Nigeria politicians should behave. May good God give you more wisdom, Pastor Tommy. This is only person that sees a vision of this country. The country is total inhumane. Both you and I, no place is safe. Referendum is highly re- re- needed now, especially the Southeast. Your point, Professor Utomi. Not we don't agree. No, not must agree. 
when the time comes when the North must agree. Why not? Does not own Nigeria? No, he does not. Let the weak say, I am strong. Amen. This man, don't start again. No. <laughs> don't start again. No. Yes, so referendum is the answer. Good talk, but one thing I hate from most of you politicians is that once they call you aside and give you a certain appointment, you will even forget all you have said. And that is the that is a, 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 a pertinent uh, uh, statement. Facts. That is a, a statement of facts. They will forget it. They will forget. They will not. They will be saying another thing. You'll be, oh my goodness. You can imagine this man, Ben Bruce, that, uh, you know, I think his, nick, his nickname is uh, uh, Common Sense. Something like that. Something like Common Sense. He was saying a lot of things that really made sense to a lot of Nigerians before he became a senator but as soon as he became a senator everybody was like oh yeah yeah yes we have somebody that will be speaking for we yeah. i think the first uh first quarter he was just trying to uh, get his feet but before he could see jack, uh, jack robinson hmm, he just he just went with, with the wind see today he's not been speaking no hmm. referendum is okay but total disintegration is better well referendum may lead to a total disintegration nearly 90 percent of nigerian citizens don't want nigeria no more I am with you, Mr. Parts, who told me on this. Are you not the guys that brought this regime? The referendum is needed whether election is to take place or not. Referendum, referendum all the way. I continue to ask myself, what is holding Nigeria back on implementing and actualizing of the CONFAB of 2014, where all the zones in Nigeria were represented? We don't need another referendum, but the actualization of that confab result, which millions of naira was spent. We insist on that Nigeria. Don't have another wasteful money on referendum anymore. I totally agree with Patu Tommy on this. At this moment of our history, what we need is a referendum on whether we want to stay together or go a different way. Since the arrangement agreed to by the founding fathers have been set aside during the military integrum. We must have a referendum again to decide our relationship and we want to be governed. How we want to be governed. Professor Tommy, I've said it all, but we politicians from South listen, no, 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 no. They are benefiting from that bad governance. Why masses are suffering? The Northern politicians won't agree as well they got opportunity to fill their pockets while their people are suffering and begging up and down. They always forget that if the system is good, it will be for everyone. Everyone's good. And our children will have a better future. But bless you. God bless you, Pastor Tommy. Hope you can stand and push this forward if you are not being called aside. Just like somebody said. I thought they just put her for coral like this. Eh? <laughs> when we say you put her for coral, hmm. it don't finish you. You don't finish. Wise man, Pat, you have said it all. Referendum, referendum, referendum is better. The high level of religious indoctrination in the north will make the civilization and the development of the country impossible. Like I always said, south, south and southwest of Nigeria are the one holding this country. Let them wake up from their sleep and you see that things will work well. So guys, let us know what you think concerning what's it. Professor Pat Utsomi has said. Thank you.